Hi everybody. As you two can see, I do have a messy shelf. Anyway, um, I have been watching some YouTube videos, and this one uh, episodes were the um, they were making aftermarket air coolers for the compressors. You have to have an aftermarket air cooler because once the air exits the compressor, it's 195 degrees. Everything is vaporized, the oil, the, the moisture in the air. So you need to cool and condense that air. So I've seen everything from a, this one guy had 10 foot sections up and down, up and down, up and down. And on the bottom of each section, he had a ball valve for a drain. I saw the one where the guy had the um, uh, air conditioning condenser hooked up to his air compressor. Uh, the trouble with that is that once you go large to a small unit, it restricts the air so you don't get the full pressure at the end. So that's the drawback on that. You need to have something at least three quarters of an inch or even an inch for the volume. So um, even saw the one where the guy took uh, flexible copper and stuck it in a bucket of water for a cooler. Believe me, this system that I came up with over 35 years ago is the simplest and easiest one to work. You just lay it out on the ground, you solder it up, and then you just transfer that once it's mounted on the boards onto the wall. And this is what it is. Very simple. This is the line coming in from the compressor. It's three quarter inch and I use a flexible uh, hydraulic hose on mine. So it's coming in and as it's dropping down the first leg of it is actually the, the water trap. Now as it's coming up each time it comes up it's fighting gravity because all of these tubes are uphill. It's all slanted uphill. And there is actually over 50 feet of copper in this little setup. So at, when the water vapor and air and compressed um, oil and everything else gets up to the very top one, as it comes over across the top, now it's going to drop down to the final leg. And this is also a water trap. So after that it comes into the uh, main feed line. And believe it or not, this is a uh, flexible um, water line feed, stainless steel wrap. I think it's got a burst pressure of uh, 150, 175, a working pressure of 125. It's been on for years and it still works great. Uh, then your um, inline valve, and I, you know, I live in Florida, it's humid and hot, but you can see there's no moisture. It's all been trapped right in here. Then I have it go into a, uh, just a spin on oil filter, and that's just to trap any particles whatsoever that's um, maybe in the air. Um, but that, that's the simple setup that I have and I'm telling you it works really well. Now the biggest thing about using copper is it has to be clean. I mean the cleaner the better. So you know those little tools that have the two holes with the two different brushes on the end? Get the one to match your copper pipe and make sure you've got all that um, dull re removed from your copper pipe inside the fittings and so when you put a little um, flux around it and heat it up the copper will just flow right into it. That's the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they don't get the copper clean enough. Anyway, if you're interested, make one of these, lay it out the size you need, and just may have it go uphill. Other than that, have a good day.